Good morning, John. I've heard a lot of guesses about what it is that makes humanity special. Like Opposable thumbs, tool use, self-awareness. But it turns out all those things, other animals do those things too. One thing I can never stop thinking about, though, is music. And of course, there are other organisms that sing. But here is a thing that no other organism has ever done. Oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. Got lost in the game. Oh, baby, baby. The layers of remix and collaboration and historical context that go into that six second clip of a barbershop quartet singing Oops, I Did It Again are just bleh. All of the tools that we use to understand and manipulate the world are built brick by brick by individual humans. And a lot of times we can't see those bricks. But with music, oftentimes we can. Several times in my life I've been listening to some old interesting song that I I've never heard before, and then suddenly I realize I have heard it before hundreds of times. And you could probably tell that that's about to happen with this song. I'm Ray Charles obviously is iconic. This song, I Got a Woman, is one of the most covered songs of all time. And you probably know that I Got a Woman was sampled re fairly recently in a super popular song. She give me money when I'm in need. Yes, but you very well may have known that that was a sample from Ray Charles and Kanye West's Gold Digger. But you probably did not know about this. Southern Tones were a gospel group. Ray Charles heard that song on the radio and then immediately wrote I Got a Woman using the same melody. So that, my friends, is the path from It Must Be Jesus to Gold Digger. This ridiculously beautiful Labby Sifra track is wonderful to listen to. It's called I Got The. It has a lot of complexity, a lot of orchestration. There's a lot going on and you probably have never heard of it except Slim Shady. I want to know the story of how this track happened so bad. Eminem, if you would like to email me, I'm very curious. Speaking of super weird, this Timmy Thomas track, Why Can't We Live Together, is like a weird mix of organ and percussion, and it probably sounds pretty familiar to you right now, and you may have figured it out already. But if you haven't, allow me to speed it up a little bit, add some reverb, and take the high end off. And suddenly, Here's another song that you almost certainly have never heard before. Singing in the background right now is Linda Lindell. She was a backup act for Otis Redding and even James Brown. And when she released her pretty spectacular R&B single, What a Man, it went bad because she was white. The KKK told her to retire, otherwise they would make her life miserable for being a white person who was singing black music. And she did that, and the song was largely forgotten until... What a man, what a man, what a man. 2003, after Salt and Peppa's song came out, Linda Lindell actually came out and performed her song, What a Man, for the very first time in public. And now that song lives on again in another hemisphere after Korean pop music group IOI did a version of it in 2016. Some people don't like samples. They say that it shows a lack of creativity or that they're stealing from other artists. But when I look at this, I see the example of the thing that actually makes humans unique and so powerful. There are no new things. I stole every one of these words I'm saying from the person who made the word up and we don't remember that person's name. So I find this beautiful and I love to be able to see a little bit into that process of human creation, as long as everybody's getting credit. Now let me leave you with an amazing funk track called Found a Child by Ball and Jack, which you have never heard, except that you have. Give me your time, John. We'll see you on Tuesday.